everyone's doing really well. I thought I would give you a video update on how I'm doing. It, I've done now five rounds of chemo and next week I go for my sixth round, so I'll be halfway there, which is great, but it doesn't feel like I'm gonna be halfway there. It feels like um, it's taking forever, but then the days that I feel good, like today, fly by. So anyways, um, the last chemo that I had, number five, I felt very tired pretty much right away. Um, so I had chemo on the Friday and I was pretty tired Friday night, Saturday, really hit me bad Sunday, Monday. So a bit of nausea and just exhaustion. Actually, it was probably not until Tuesday evening that I started to feel better, um, which is if there's each chemo, I'm slowly feeling sicker longer, um, which is so funny to think that that first round of chemo, I was like almost completely normal. I had like, I had that metallic taste and stuff and noticed some things, but really I was functioning pretty normal. Um, but yeah, I'm not functioning at all uh, those couple of days right after chemo. They're usually pretty rough physically because I feel so sick, but then also they're hard mentally um, too, just because you know that you have to do this again so many more times. Um, and I think that's tough too. So uh, I've been feeling pretty good though towards the end of this week. Um, but the only thing that has been very hard for me is my hair because I think it's getting to the point where it's starting to look bad. So I'm going to show you. So if hair grosses you out, then you might want to stop the video now and stop watching. But basically I've been waking up in the morning and my hair is so dry and so um, the texture has changed so much. Like I can just move it and it just stays in one spot. Like it, it, so I wake up in the morning and I will have hair like this, <laughs> which is so funny, um, but totally not something I'm used to. Like I used to think I had bad bed head when I had long blonde hair. I'd wake up I'm like, oh, it's all messy. Oh no. And now I wake up and I'm like, I look like a peacock. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's dead. Like it's very, very dry. Um, and I only now wash it once a week with baby shampoo because it's so it's so sensitive and fragile. But you can also now see my scalp. I don't know if you can see it, but um, it continues to fall out, and it's very very thin. And so it's 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 starting to not look so good. Um, I basically always wear a hat now. So I'm trying to decide if I shave it because my mom and stepdad said yesterday that they noticed it really thinning out and I don't want to have patchiness. So just trying to decide if I shave it or not. I don't, the thing is, is I've been talking to a lot of girls um, actually in the States who have Hodgkin's lymphoma too and we're all kind of doing chemo at the same time and a few of them shaved their head and they regretted doing it because now they have got like almost an inch of hair and they're still in chemo and it's full. So um, yeah, it's hard to know if it will stop shedding because some people say that their hair actually stopped kind of halfway through their chemo and started growing again. So I would hate to shave it all um, when I could be, you know, this far ahead if it weren't to all fall out. That being said, I still have seven more chemo. So I don't know, I really don't know what to do. I don't want to go bald. I really don't want to go bald. <sighs> Anyways, that's an update. Thanks for listening and looking at my head. <laughs>